Hello, my name is Lee Jun Sok, and I'm going to introduce about the subscription economy. First, what is the subscription economy? Is it like YouTube subscribe? Or like, what does this subscription have to do with the economy? So it's the subscription is the model that allows to consumers to regularly pay the goods they want to ship or use the service they want. Rental is also included in the broad-based subscription economy. Traditionally, regular subscription meant buying, reading, publication regularly. Recently, as Netflix is an online streaming service company, has succeeded. It has been expanding into various items such as paintings, flowers, foods, and daily necessities. And there is Amazon Prime. And largely, subscribe economy divided into three models. These are offline based traditional subscription services, rental business, and lastly, Netflix type subscription service. First, traditional subscription service are the way sellers create service or goods a specific location and provide them to buyers. A typical example is a health club. A rental business is a form of seller who visits the buyer himself and temporarily lends goods. This includes the water purifiers. And last, the Netflix type subscription service is a streaming form that regularly delivers products or services to buyers when they them. For example, Samdasu or Korea Yogurt Milk Kit have introduced the Netflix type subscription services. Look at this graph. It represents that subscribe economy market is advancing at a tremendous pace. I expect that because of the coronavirus, it is getting more commercialized. And I'm going to talk about the advantages of subscription economy. First, it is convenience. And second thing, a consumer gets price and time very low. And third, at the firm's opinion, recurring revenue generation and it's very stable. Fourth, digital age is open. And fifth, the millionaire generation will buy the prices. And last thing, how can we de develop the subscription economy? Thank you for listening.